Hi, I'm Mike. I'll be your guide today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you guys all set? Oh, we're looking oh, forward to yes. this. Great, let's go. This is Cathedral Rock just in front of us, just off to the left a little bit. And it's probably our most famous rock formation in Sedona. Definitely the most photographed one. So here we're looking at the erosional remnants. To our right is Courthouse Butte, and just to the left of that is Lee Mountain. So you're looking at basically the edge of the Colorado Plateau right here. Um, and we sit just off the edge of it, Sedona does. And this particular edge is eroded into this escarpment, this, this big cliff, and that reveals the sedimentary layers of rock. Your inn, where you're staying, uh, is just to the right of Courthouse Butte there. And uh, that's where Canyon Villa is located. One of the things that I liked about going on a hike with a, an experienced guide is that and we could walk down a trail that maybe we've been down before or haven't been to, and it's just a trail, but, but a guide can tell you something about the plant life or the geological processes that are going on around you and, and point out various uh, ancient ruins that we might not have known about otherwise. So we come over this rise, we're going to drop into a gorgeous Red Rock Canyon, and it's a very remote area. We probably won't see anybody uh, today, and there's, um, there's also a rock art panel in here, which is kind of cool. And you know, we're, we're not experienced hikers and he was very sensitive to that and um, gave us hikes that were, uh, you know, in our ability level and uh, we were asking a lot about Indian ruins because we're very interested in that. And we got a really good look at some Indian ruins that really no one sees. They're not on the signs. It was totally mysterious location. Um, so I, we felt kind of special because it was yeah, something yeah, that, yeah. you know, most people probably, probably not going to see. Yeah, would not see and we did. I would highly recommend um, using Mike on, on your first day here to give you an overview of the area. It's not a Disneyland ride, it's actually more mm -hmm. of the history and more of the, uh, the location, the geology, um, just, just a better ride and a better experience I think. I could probably spend a week looking through the Red Rocks on my own, but based on our tour with Mike this morning, we now know everything we can do on our own for the next three or four days, so I, we, I can't say enough good things about Mike. Heading on back.